Yes, we're back. We're back again for another first look at a brand new game. And this time it's Winter Resort Simulator. Yes, I do like this genre of game normally. So we're going to take a look and go through the tutorial of it and see what it's all about. Grab that guidebook to all things snowy in the winter. <laughs> Let's go. So yes, hi there, Steve here, and uh, welcome to Winter Resort Simulator. Yes, we're going to go through the tutorial and uh, show you what it's all about. Also, show me what it's all about. Uh, if you're new to my videos, uh, welcome. This is going out on a day where I normally put games that don't uh, fit my normal sim genre. However, this does have simulator in the title. Um, normal content for me, though, is uh, something from OMSI, something from Fernbus, uh, some tourist bus, some trains, some trucks, some planes, some everything chucked in there. So if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button for plenty more content to come from me. Right, let's click play. And uh, Haustein. Haustein is an idyllic ski, little ski resort. Explore a six kilometer square game world with countless details, a lovely village, and invest in a state of the art ropeways to restore the area's former glory. Let's click on the start. It does look like a nice place to be. We shall see what happens when it loads. I like the fact it's a little um, pulley down the corner. Oh, there we go. Uh, welcome to the Halstein Ski Resort. This, in this tutorial, we're going to show you the highlights and most important features in the game. It does look quite nice. Uh, controls. In the Winter Resort Simulator, you can walk around freely in the first person mode. Use the following, so W, A, S and D, left and right, and mouse is to look around. Okay. Time to start your first business day. Open the car door, walk to the door and click to open it. So I'm 5.1 oh, meters away from the car. Well, I could sort of see the car. It's right there. Okay, I'm guessing I'll get to get inside. Enter on the seat. Okay, use the following keys to control your car. Accelerate is W and S. Okay, left and right is A and D. Shift to gear up and down is F and R. Parking brake is B. Low beam is L. So forward and reverse then is for gears. Okay, that makes sense. By the way, in the gameplay settings, you can choose to start the car engine and release the parking brake yourself. Okay. Turn on the low beam. There. Well, that's got a cool little sound. Uh, in most vehicles, it's possible to use different camera perspectives. Interior view 1, exterior view 2, custom 3, and custom 4. Switch to 2. Okay, so we've got a bit of a long view there back to the driver's seat okay before the resort can open 8 30 there's still much to do drive uh, to the valley and follow the instructions okay so into forward i'm guessing down there 300 meters okay i'm guessing you should be able to eventually uh, configure a steering wheel etc with this that would make life a lot easier for now we go with the uh, keyboard steering which is never precise but so this isn't the full finished version of the game yet as I'm uh, putting this out oh that's a bit twisty view I think could do with being a little bit higher I do seem to be sat down quite low in the truck it's starting to be a fair way out I want to get, get that view in I should imagine I 
120. Wow. Okay, red van man. And there's a car down here somewhere in front of me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can see the car down there in front of me. Seagree is quite nice. Way it looks. We're blocking traffic now, it seems to be. Sorry about that. Right, is he going to move at any point? Turn left at the marked spot, left indicator, number pad one. Okay. I quite like the indicator noise. We just skip in front of him down here. There we go. I guess he gets one to cancel it. Yeah. I'm trying to accelerate up the hill. Come on, you can do it in a truck. not that big of a hill come on you can, there we go so set a parking brake by pressing B we can do that and leave the car. We have the lights on. Open the door to the garage. Okay, is that down here? Okay. Let's do the opening of the door to the garage thing. Open the door. Okay, opened in. Open the gate. Well, oh, that's quite cool. Uh, open the gate. Okay, hopefully they'll add in some noise to the doors and things. Because it's a very quiet door. I'll get in the car again. Okay, we can do that. I suppose it's supposed to be a Ford. Was it F one hundred and fifty? By the looks of things. Um, put the car in the garage. Okay. So I turn the lights off. I should turn the lights off. Drain the battery otherwise. Put the parking brake on. Which I didn't actually release. And get out. There we go. Car's in. Right, now close this one. Okay. Is that doing the closing thing? Yes, it is. So the park's supposed to open at 8.30 in the morning. According to the little clock up in the corner there, it's 7.52. Let's not open the second gate and start the Piston Bully 100. That's a name. Okay, so do the click in. Obviously, open the gate thing. Walk to the door of the Piston Bully 100 and open it. Okay, we can do that. Open the door. Oh, it's open this way. Okay. Get in it. Oh. Lift the groomer key. Didn't actually see it doing anything. Uh, drive out of the garage. Controller piston bullet is a little different compared to the control of other vehicles. The most important difference is that you have to change the driving direction by a different key. Change direction, left shift W, lift and load the groomer is V. Press L's turn on the low beams. Okay. Press homes, turn on the beacon lights. And the hell's home? Turn on the working number four, turn on working lights. OK. 
Okay. Uh, five to turn on the second working light. Okay. Drive to the slope. And we'll start grooming it. Lower the groomer. You can actually see anything lowering. Groom the lower part of the slope. Uh, that bit up there, I'm guessing, then. Okay, that's more percent done. It's doing something, there's a patch behind me. Is it actually doing anything? Is it saying it's doing anything? One percent done. Wow, it's gonna take a while. At one point oh no two kilometers an hour. As fast as it goes? Surely it can't be as fast as it goes. Can it? It's moving. The broom doesn't seem to be on the ground, yet it's loaded. This is the one at the back I've been using. I'm guessing it's this area down here because there's that marker there. It's only 2% done. Or oh, 3% done. Wow. It sure is going to take a while. I hope I'm not doing a whole ski slope. Am I stuck on it? I've got to do is it shift W. I got caught on the fence. Yeah, it's the one at the back that I'm lowering then, so it's I'm, it's I'm pulling it. Come on, you're going downhill. Okay, come on. any option for any other gears or anything. Like farm sim. The percentage just isn't going up quickly enough. Oh, now I appear to be stuck. Oh, no, no, we're all good. I hope I've got to be precise and do every little bit of square. Well, it turns quite quickly. 
finally a decent bit of speed. It's taken a while to get the speed up. It's only done 12% though. If I've only got to do this bit, it's going to be more than that percentage-wise to get it done. Spin it around. Because if I fill in this only, it's only like 30%. How far do I have to go? It doesn't tell you a... An area it just says the lower bit, unless I've got to do I've got up there as well. Yeah, shame it didn't say right up until this point. Here's a little picture of a map. This is the area you've got to do. There's no way this is going to be a hundred percent. Oh, stuck again. Yeah, I don't know how far up that slope I've got to go then. It's counting this bit, so... Nope, stop. Don't go down that hole. Get you stuck down there. This is going a bit quicker. The keyboard steering actually works okay on this. Hopefully they will add in steering support for vehicles to use a steering wheel. Okay, my suggestion would be don't fix such a big area in the tutorial. The idea of a tutorial for me is to show you the basics, to show you how you actually use the machinery in this case. So the tutorial should have gone, okay, this is how you do it. You know, do this little area, maybe even a quarter of the size of this. Um, and then, so that's how you use that, and then take you on to the next thing that you're supposed to learn. So I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. As far as an area, there's bits that I'm missing out, obviously. I'm saying only 34% done. Come on, you're going downhill. You shouldn't be going that slowly. My finger is literally flat on the accelerator. It's a little bit of an incline, but it shouldn't be that much of a bad thing for this. 
And since this is pre-release as I'm doing this, so they've obviously got a few bugs they're still working out. I'm actually saying more than a few. I'm now not going anywhere. Well, we're 36% of the way done. This is going to take a very long time to do this, considering I don't know how far up, I'm guessing, that slope up there that I've got to go. But if it can't cope with the angle of this, even going downhill, there's no way it's going to get up there. Well, it's a shame because I, I normally do like this genre of game. I like the you know the um, the idea of it. Let's see if I have got to go up there. If I've got the energy to move up there. Is it going to count this as being a part of it? So, yes. If I've got to go up to here, I'm guessing then. Wow. Okay. That's going to take a long time. Well, the concept of it, I really like. Um... I think they need to spend a bit more time looking at the tutorial, if this is supposed to be a tutorial, um, in um, maybe not get you to to do this much of an area to start with, because we're only 46% of the way done. I don't know why the thing... I get that a hill would affect it. Because I now don't know what else is going to be in the tutorial after this and we can't go downhill again so I'll tell you what we'll do we'll end that there um, the first thing to look I will come back to this uh, at some point in the future hopefully they um, improve the way uh, the tutorial is done and improve the mechanics of the actual uh, equipment because you know really like the way it's detailed it looks quite good don't mind the controls you know the world around us looks okay uh, fairly well done really like the idea of it um, managing a, uh, a winter resort so you know coming and doing this then I'm guessing setting up the ski lift and then managing it from beyond that um, but my personal opinion is the tutorial needs a lot of work um, you need to narrow stuff down I would say don't start so far out in the pickup um, just give you the basics of how to drive the pickup uh, and make this a lot smaller. I think even that area down the bottom there uh, would have been too much uh, to do. A quarter of that would give you the idea of how to use the machinery and then set you up on something else. Even if you had said, okay, you do that bit, fine, we'll do the rest. Cut away, come back. There you go. Right, now this is how you set that up. But, you know, I've been doing this for, what, 15 minutes now? 
um, and I'm done 50%. So it's going to take you half an hour or more just to do this bit. And I think most people in a tutorial would be going, yeah, I've had enough of that now. I, I know how to do that. A tutorial for me should be how to use the equipment, not use it for a long period of time. So get you in and out of various bits of equipment um, to get you how to use it. But, you know, I will come back to the game. Uh, we will continue to keep an eye on it and see what updates uh, they bring out and maybe we'll come back to it um, beyond the tutorial stage once we're in sandbox mode and then um, we'll give it a go from there i'll put a link to it in the description below so i do think there is potential for this i'm not trying to be all negative about it um, i do like honestly like this genre of gaming um, so uh, if this is your sort of thing there'll be a link to it in the description uh, below uh, i'll also link the discord server um, so if you want to join in with the Sims and Stuff community, uh, I'll put a link down there uh, for that as well. And uh, yes, in there I'll post updates on uh, what's going on with the game. So I'll leave that there. Don't forget to check out my normal content. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe for more, not only random stuff like this, but some more new content to come as well. Until the next time then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching. <laughs>